Today we're going to talk about how to read a thermometer. This thermometer is a glass bulb thermometer. It does not have mercury in it, which is a type of metal that will expand and contract with heat and being cold. This has alcohol with a red dye in it. It does the same thing when it heats up. The, the red will expand and it will rise. And when it gets cold, it will contract and it will go down. So this thermometer has Celsius and degrees Fahrenheit. Now we're going to talk about the scale. The scale is particularly important when you're reading a thermometer. If you notice that these numbers here, they start at 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. That would be a scale of 10 because it's counting by tens. But notice these little lines in between. So if we're counting, we will notice that these are going by twos. So 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So this is a scale of 2. So you can go and see that I, I know that this is past the 20 for Celsius. And that would be 22, 24. And since this is 26 and it's in between the 24 and 26, that would make it 25 degrees Celsius. Now when I'm looking at my Fahrenheit, my scale here also counts by tens over here, but when we are looking at these lines in between, we would also be counting by twos. So 70, 72, 74, 76. So this would be 76 degrees Fahrenheit. It is important to note that your scale can count by ones and twos fives, and tens. For our class for third grade, we are only going to count by ones and twos on the scale for a thermometer. This thermometer has a scale of one. So if we start at zero, we can see that this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is counting by ones, whereas the thermometer we had just practiced reading these were counting by twos. So 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. So that's a scale of twos, and this would be a scale of ones.